Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Last time we talked about channeling when it comes to the different forms of damage, and today we will be talking about critical chance and critical damage in Warframe. Now for this situation, we will be using a typical enemy as a subject. It doesn't matter what faction, maybe Corpus, Infested, Greenier, or Sentience, it doesn't matter, but we're just gonna use a typical enemy as an example now. Every enemy in the game has a weak spot and of course a critical spot. Weak spots are anatomical points where an enemy is more likable to take additional or more damage. Now for most enemies in the game with similar stats, they can also have variations which is often revealed by Helios or by Banshee's sonar ability. So these of course are those things that you see as highlighted areas or highlighted spots. In, in some cases, a headshot can also be considered sometime a linear form in between a critical spot and of course a weak spot. Now, now that we have understand and laid down the foundation and the understanding of what weak spots is in Warframe, it is better for us to understand what a weak spot isn't and what isn't critical. So now we know what isn't critical, now we're about to find out what is critical. So basically, critical points are multiple or almost infinite spots on an enemy that can serve as an Achilles heel when you go against any faction in the game. So how does this play on critical chance and critical damage in weapons? Well, a critical chance in a weapon is the chance of your weapon hitting one of these critical points, and of course your critical damage is a damage multiplier applied to these points. Now, I know you're wondering what and how does red crits play into this in the game because a lot of times a lot of us are looking for red crits in a weapon that is the very definition of a critical weapon in the game you know you you sometimes build for red crits and this is one of the things we've seen in weapons like the dread or we have also seen in some weapons when we attach some river mods to it so it pushes out to what we see as the red crits now the understanding of this and an explanation of this is that the critical point is accountable for 100% chance. So if you have a weapon that has 50% critical chance with all mods or on a base stats and you hit two critical points, that will account for 100 critical chances. So now if you hit more than one critical point with more than 100 critical chance, then you will have red crits. So basically red crits is created if you hit more than two critical points with more than 100% chances. That means the red crits is the overlapping number or the overlapping chance and figure when it comes to critical points and critical stats in Warframe as of now. So in addition to that, when you have the Ardaza Kavat or you have the Smita Kavat, this will not increase your damage as per se when it comes to critical damage, but in theory what they do when they give you that buff and you get those red crits is that they increase the multiplier for, the, for your critical chance. So if you have 10% critical chance and you get a speeder Kavat and, or you get a Daza Kavat and they give you that critical buff, what they do is they multiply your base or your current critical chance by a certain number which often pushes you into the red crit zone. And this is why you have those numbers and those red digitals and those red digits on your screen. Now, one thing you also have to understand is that those red numbers does not mean anything if you don't have the good critical damage or you didn't have the amount of damage that your weapon is required. Because what happens is even though if you have a chance of hitting more than two critical points or more than one critical points with 100% chance or more 100 points overlapping and you push on into the red crit zone, if you don't have the critical multiplier, you are not able to deal enough damage or the intense damage that you were hoping for. So you are just seeing a red crit flying off and going around on the screen but you are not seeing your enemies going down. So when it comes to building or modding, you want to make sure that as much as you have critical chance, even if your critical chance does not push into the 100% pass or does not push into the red crit zone, you want to ensure that you have additional or increased critical damage because that is the thing that is going to affect or affect your critical multiplier and affect the critical damage that you deal in the game. And that is 
what you think is that you have to understand. So if you have to pick between channeling damage and critical damage, it is not one of those things where there is even a question. And I'm sure a lot of us will go ahead and pick critical damage because when it comes to channeling, you have a situation of you losing some to gain some. But when it comes to critical damage, it is all a win-win situation. And we have a lot of weapons and a lot of things in the game that also buffs and increases your critical damage in the game. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe as we will be having future and additional videos as far as physical damage goes in the game. Also feel free to add to this topic and help out below in the comment section if you have any information or any data that you feel might be helpful to some of the viewers on this channel or some of the viewers out here on YouTube. With all said and done, it is DS signing out. I'll see you in the next one.